Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. Today we are doing the level one challenge, which we haven't done on the new update yet. And it is it has gotten far more difficult than before. What is the level one challenge you might ask? Is It is where you do not add any items uh, so you're going to only have the starter equipment. And in this case, we're also going to do only tier one items. So these are the items that you have when you start the brand new game at level one. And on top of that, we're going to do it on insanity difficulty because that is basically what it feels like when you play phasmo for the first time you're not going to get any evidence and you're going to feel like it starts hunting almost immediately so to simulate that we're going to do insanity mode and we'll see how much harder it has gotten it's going to be fun i hope you enjoy if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time let's hop into the game let's go <laughs> Alrighty, so insanity mode. If you don't know what it is, it is the hardest difficulty made by the devs that has been added uh, actually relatively recently. Now, these are all the items that we're going to have to do it with. No smudge sticks, no crucifixes, no candles, no salt, no nothing. It's just only one version of each of the shitty tier one items. Also, I would thank you. Uh, and the ghost is going to be Daniel Rhodes. We need to escape the ghost. We can do that. We can also lower our sanity below 25. Now, besides having uh, no screens, you also start at 75% sanity uh, on insanity mode. And you only get one evidence. Only one evidence. Which, that is basically... I remember when I started playing Phasmo, I had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea how to get evidence. I had no idea how to hide. It was just one pure disaster. Actually, when I started playing, there was like no one who knew anything because the game literally came out that week. So everyone started playing and everyone started learning the game. And the way I thought that you had to hide was closing a door and just holding it closed and just spray and just like stand here. <laughs> like that's, that's what I thought you had to do. Now, obviously, that's not the case. Uh, you, I would die many times and be like, what the hell? What's going on here? <laughs> um, but you have to remember that back in the day, you d the ghost didn't get attracted by your flashlight, so that would sometimes work. So sometimes I would be thinking like, oh my god, I'm such a genius. I'm hiding from these ghosts so well. I'm just standing in a room and holding the door closed. What a madman. Uh, anyway, where is this ghost? Hello, hello? We have one hiding spot already. Oh, there's a boater in the bathroom. <laughs> what is this shit? I, oh, hi there. You, oh my God, the lights broke. I'm gonna pick that up real quick. I don't think you have a photo cam as a starter item. So we're not even gonna be able to take any photos. We have EMF four. Now what just happened is actually a complete disaster because obviously we don't have any sanity pills. Uh, so that ghost doing that ghost event right there dropped our sanity by an additional 10 percent. so we are now at around like 65 which means that we only have 15 more sanity to go before it starts going absolutely sicko mode and once again we only got one evidence so there really isn't going to be much we can do uh now obviously when you're starting out playing phasmo you won't have all the knowledge that i have uh but i can't erase all my knowledge i mean I don't think I want to because there's so much to learn in this game. Like a lot of games like Dark Souls or something, I would totally be fine erasing all my knowledge and starting over again, like being able to play it for the first time. I think Phasmo is one of those games that gets better the more you know about it. Like the more, oh, the better and better you get at the game, the more fun it becomes. At least that's what it has been like for me. Not that I didn't absolutely love it when I first played. I had so much fun. Okay, it is here. EMF. I'm just going to leave this here. Uh, it's also one of those games where watching it doesn't ruin it at all. It only enhances the experience. Like watching other people play is something I also enjoy. Even though I make like, I've made over a thousand Phasmo videos in my day. I still enjoy watching other people play it, especially newer players. It's so fun to watch new players <laughs> like and see all the mistakes that I made when I started and like how people slowly learn how to go through a game of Phasmo. Uh, now we're not getting any, did I leave anything? Yes, yeah, spirit box. We're not getting any orbs. We're not getting any fingies. Uh, if you are playing a professional or something, you can rule out evidence. We obviously can't do that here because we're only going to get one evidence total. Where are you? It's air ball, so no Oni. And also probably no shade because we got a pretty early ghost event. Where are you? Our sanity is fucked, by the way. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? 
Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Is that gonna be... EMF3 again. Is it freezing, maybe? Oh. Pushing a door again? I don't know. It's definitely not thingy, Steph. So that's one we don't have to look for anymore. I'm gonna get the hell out of here and set up my dots and writing book. Now, dots and writing book are one, are items that you definitely want to have two of. Especially the first version, the tier one, are so bad. Like... It's already so hard to get... It already used to be so hard to get dots and writing sometimes, but that was with good versions of the items. Right now, when you start the game... Like, I need to know, if there's any per people that started playing Phasmo on this update, how was your experience? Because I can only imagine how difficult it must be to start Phasmo in this state of the game. Oh, God. Oh, there you go. We are indeed getting hunted already. Normal speed. Because the items are so bad. The items are so bad that you start with. And you also don't even know how to use them. So it's like a complete disaster. <laughs> yeah, what's definitely not an o or a yokai. Can't really be an obake, right? So we don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna go to the... It's probably gonna stop hunting in like two seconds here. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Pretty much exactly two seconds. Um... We, we really want to get at least one evidence here, hopefully. Now, if it's this Goryeo Dots, it's gonna be fucked. Uh, that's definitely not a Revenant. It seemed like normal blinking, so no Phantom. Um, it doesn't seem like Twins, does seem like Thadeo Moroi could actually be. Not a Raichu, not a... Did it speed up? I don't know if it sped up. Can you give us a sign? Let's try... Ah! Dude, the one second grace period, though, that's actually... Killer. Yeah, well, it's definitely not a yoka either. Alright, I need to get test if it speeds up, but I'm just gonna loop it around this instead. Because then we can also kind of check for poltergeist. Probably not really. This is already... T this is not supposed to... Oh my god. It attacked me? What? Um... Am I gonna die? Oh. Is this a poltergeist? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. It was throwing a lot of stuff there. Uh, I couldn't really see it, though, because the lights were off. So we're going to set all this up. This is a, These are things that you learn over time, which I've made so many videos about. Um, about all the little abilities that the ghost had. I recently made some hunting-only challenge videos. Are you Banshee? Hmm. Weird that it came to me there. Uh, but especially if you want to learn everything about each of the ghosts, I highly recommend checking out my no evidence videos. I have a whole playlist about no evidence. Okay, it's definitely not a poltergeist. Because in those videos, I am doing the entire investigation without collecting a single piece of evidence. Which means I have to figure out... Um, like... I can only figure out what ghost it is based on its hidden abilities or its special abilities. Which, that is something that you just have to learn over time. It does... Some of the abilities are explained in the book, but, like, literally 90% of them are just... We have slowly figured them out by playing the game for three years. <laughs> uh, and following every single patch. Now, I don't really know... Is it gonna go back here is my question. Let's set up this dots, like, this way. That way, and then we set up a camera. We don't have tripods either. Is this gonna stick? Okay, that's not gonna stick. Maybe back here. That should work. Yes. And then I have pointed it at the... Oh, come on. Wait. From over there? What a weird ghost. Okay, let's see. We have no yokai. We have no poltergeist. We have no miling. No miling. No Hantu because it was speeding up, right? So definitely no Hantu. Uh, hopefully not a Goryeo because it roamed just now. We have no Mimic because we didn't see orbs. No Obake because no shape-shifting nor fingerprints. No Moroi for sure because it's not fast at all. Uh, we can't really test for spirit all too well. The level 1 challenge is similar to real level 1. Uh, that it is very likely that you won't be getting your first ghost correct. I don't think I got... For sure, I can tell you with 100% certainty... That my first game, I did not get the ghost correct. Um, oh my god, hello. 
Make your choice, Spearbox. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Okay, so no spear box. Ah! I have this. I need to bring this back. It roams toward me. Yeah, it definitely... It could be Banshee. That was also singing ghost of it. Man, these ghosts are, are hunting like a devastating loss of life. So we would like to see at least one evidence for the ghosts so we can rule out uh, like a few of them. Without spirit box, we can also say it's not a Mora and Dio for sure. Okay, it just came in here. It might actually be a Gorio after all. Because remember, we are playing on Insanity. Um, but we'll still get one evidence. If you are curious in this position, like where you're getting chain hunted, then there's not much you can do. Uh, I have Reese. I know I'm like plugging my own videos, but I have made very dedicated videos about these things. I made a dedicated video about how to not panic and how to deal with a situation where you're just being like chain hunted. So if you're curious about that, check that out. Uh, can you give me a sign? It's definitely not a shade. Oh, it's out there now. Hmm. This is very. Hopefully not Gorio. Cold in here. We might just have to get out for a second. Can I even leave? I can leave. Okay. So, what are we thinking here? Uh, we haven't heard any Yurei ability, but that doesn't mean anything. It broke... Did it break a light? It broke one light, right? So it could be a mare. It's hunting pretty aggressively. We should check for Jin real quick. It did not turn off the breaker. Wait, we didn't check for Jin yet, did we? Uh... Cause that could be another easy one. So let's do that. The gin is gonna be easy. Spirit, let's just stand back here and see if it comes to our location. Cause if it does, then we know it's a wraith. Okay, it didn't this time. Hello? Let's see? Okay, it's not a gin. We can rule that out. And now we just wanna live. Um. No gin, man. We are down to some some tough ass ghosts here. It's throwing a lot. Oh come on! Leave me alone. Um, the gin ability is that it's fast when it's far away from you. Let's turn on some light switches and see if it turns it off. That might give us a mare ability here. It doesn't. Doesn't turn that off. Is it like out here? If it actually changed ghost room, that would be amazing. It's going up out here though. I think we should just test for Banshee or Wraith because that's what I'm leaning towards right now. And in order to test for Banshee or Wraith, what you basically do is just say, sit far away from the ghost room. And then eventually you, was, you uh, it should come to your location and start doing things here. Which it isn't doing right now, so maybe we aren't dealing with a Wraith or Banshee. Um, it could literally just be a spirit. It doesn't seem like a Gorio for sure, so we're down to this, these options. It doesn't know I'm here. It's literally just walking in here for fun. It's just walking back and forth that there's no idea. Pepe laugh. I'm gonna spend one entire hunt cooldown standing back here and we'll see we'll see what happens Let's see if we're gonna get because if it doesn't hunt from here this time i'm gonna rule out wraith and banshee or if it doesn't like do anything out here and then what do we think demon oh, i'm pretty crazy maybe not quite demon though i don't think it's quite demon level just doing stuff over there. Maybe it's a Wraith. Because Banshee should be doing... Like, Banshee should roam to your location basically every time. Whereas Wraith is more rare. Oh. Yeah, it's still not here. I don't think this can be a Banshee. Because Banshees, like, do their ability, like, I don't know, 30 times in a 10-minute game. But Wraith could still technically be it. Now, we did we get that one light to break? I think we did get that one light to break. And as soon as we turned on the lights in that ghost room, 
it left the room, right? It roamed away from the light. So uh, maybe we should just go with Mare, but in this situation, it's very hard. It, with level one items or, and like, especially if you didn't know the abilities, even if you know the ability, there's, there's nothing you can really do at this point with only the starter items. Um, obviously, you're not supposed to play on insanity difficulty with the starter items, but that's what it feels like when you're starting out. I think I'm going to go with Mare. Also partially uh, fueled by the fact that I've already gotten three mares today in about five runs. I've done five runs today. Three of them were mares. I'm going to say that this is a mare just because for, just for the hell of it. Uh, it could it could be Spirit, Yure, on Rio or Wraith. Or there's obviously a few others that it could also be, but it would be less likely. It was just a regular Spirit. So yeah, there's... In this situation... Wait, what were we expecting? I guess we were expecting writing then. Man, if we actually got writing there, that would have helped us a ton. Because, well, I guess it wouldn't have helped us distinguish between uh, spirit and mare, but yeah, we we just didn't get any evidence at all. That is that is bound to happen as as per your first game. Uh, doing the level one challenge does not always lead to a success, but we will be getting a victory. I promise you. Alrighty, Charles Baker. Uh, I will be getting uh, a win here, hopefully. I mean, there's a lot of ghosts that you can easily figure out. And I really wonder how that goes nowadays. Because, I mean, there are a few things that are... There are many, many, many things that are way harder now than they used to be. But if there's one thing that's way easier now, it is the the speeds of the ghost. When I started playing, the speeds of the ghost were, like, so much harder to distinguish. Because um, there was no, like, specific footstep noise. Like, every single ghost gave the exact... Uh, same sound when they were hunting so the only way you could figure out if it was a i'm just gonna go into the basement whatever i'll i uh turn on this thing the only way you could figure out um the footsteps or the speed of a ghost was just seeing it which is way less reliable than hearing it from a distance um so yeah that was some pretty scary stuff but at least the ghosts, there were also way less fast ghosts. That is very true. It was all, only really like Revenant and Jin that you had to deal with. Uh, we're getting lots of stuff here, right? Is that in the, the kitchen or in the bathroom? Kitchen, bathroom. Aha, it is out here. That was this thing. Okay, so it's just gonna be a regular kitchen ghost. Should turn on some lights. I don't know if I was correct about that light, br light breaking at the start. I remember it breaking, but maybe not. Um, also wonder if people, like when I started playing this game, I did not play it single player. I played it multiplayer. But I imagine a lot of people do play this game single player when they begin, which I, I'm sorry. I, my condolences to you. It broke in the bathroom. Okay, so I wasn't crazy then. I mean, then I made a pretty solid guess with the evidence that I had been given. All right, come on. We're seeing no orbos. Get this uh, writing book in here ASAP, because as we saw last game, there is no certainty you'll be getting writing. Is it? I think that's how it works, right? In the in the description of the store, it says that not only does it have a bigger range, but it also has a higher chance to interact with it, right? That is like a double whammy. That is so rude, because that means that the tier one writing book not only has the absolute worst range possible, but even if the ghost is in that range, it'll be interacting with it way less, which is just like insanely rude. We're gonna put this over here. Um, and we'll try spirit box. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Nice. Spirit box. Okay, we actually got an evidence this time, and we don't have orbs, so we don't have to worry about mimic, right? Yeah, I don't think it's orbs, so no mimic, so we can rule that boy out. So then we're left with this, which is there's still a few options here. Obviously, spirit and mare could be very rude. Um, is that a high EMF? Not a, oh no, it's just normal. Uh, Phantom is gonna be really obvious. Wraith. So Wraith, uh, is gonna potentially be obvious. Yokai will be. Turn on this light. If it hunts early with the lights on... Wait, maybe I should just keep the lights off instead. I feel like a mare could already hunt at this time, and it's not hunting, so it's probably not a mare. You can't check your sanity either on this difficulty. 
Ooh, it's touching doors. This door. I mean, obviously not going to be fingies. This it can't be. Touching doors again. It's not a URA, so we don't have to worry about a URA ability. Uh, can you give me a sign? Did it do a ghost event already? I don't think so, right? Ghost, hello, hello. Can you do something? Growing stuff. Kind of chill. I don't think this is man. Let's set up our poltergeist ability on this table. Because we're going to be doing that test. Since we got it as our options. The twins, there's like at least 70% or like 75% of the ghosts that I'm seeing in this list here, we can easily figure out. So it is just going to come down to luck here. We get one of those. Otherwise, we're going to have to make some very educated guesses. But yeah, this should be more than enough for, for Poltergeist. I will keep the light off. I think that's my... Is it still here? Yes. So, I love the Tier 1 Thermal. The Tier 1 Thermal, in my opinion, is the best Thermal out of all of them. Tier 2, Tier 3 is worse. The reason being that it is extremely reliable in, first of all, giving you a value. The value, if you leave it long enough in a room, it'll give you the exact value. It turn off the breaker, not a chain. It'll give you the exact value of uh, the temperature in that room. Uh, which means that if the and if the ghost is in a room for a while and it's not a freezing ghost, it'll be stuck at that exact value you saw right there on the thermo. It's like stuck at the first notch above zero. So if the ghost starts roaming, pretty much immediately you will notice by looking at the thermo that the temperature has gone slightly up and you can immediately go like, okay, it's it's roaming. It's not in this room anymore. Whereas if you're using the tier two or the tier three, that will take way longer because both of those give you a random temperature around the actual temperature, which means that you can't like 100% know what the actual temperature is. And with this one, you can uh, so as you can see right now, the temperature is still just stuck at that one notch above zero, which means that the ghost is just sitting in this ghost room with me right here. Um, which makes it like super strong. So let's turn this off. Turn it on again for mayor potentially. And then I'm going to stand back here for a little bit. Uh, to see if we're going to get uh, the wraith to come over or something. Doesn't make any sense that the tier one thermo is better. I think you... I think the reason that the tier one thermo and the tier one glow stick, in my opinion, are better are because they have like functionally completely different uses from the uh, tier two and the tier three versions. Like the great benefit that the tier one th thermo has is that it gives you an accurate temperature. Yes, it takes a while, but it actually shows you the exact temperature, whereas the other two don't. Same thing with the uh, UV light. The glow stick provides a large area light even when it's on the floor which the other ones don't which i think is why in my opinion those are better items because they just have functionally different like they just have different functions uh whereas most items most of the items such as the writing book or the video cam or the emf are literally just like upgrades they're getting bigger they're getting higher chance of interacting so that way they're just like straight up better uh same with the dots they're just getting larger um Right? I definitely think this cannot be a mare. It's not hunting at all. Um, so I think we can rule out mare. Oh. It's also a gone, so probably not a wraith then. And definitely not a Gorio. It's just for yokai. That's weird. It's in the basement. Why did it run over there? Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, not a yokai. Probably Wait a minute. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, maybe? Hello, hello? Oh, come on. Okay, wait. So it went all the way to the basement. That is very strange. Which means that it... Wait, let's check our thermo. Has it been there for a while? Or was that just some weird ass... So as you can see, this is what I'm talking about. You immediately know that it has been approximately gone for like, I don't know, two minutes? Uh, because the temperature is, is above the 0.1 uh value that you're looking for now because it has moved to a different room but it doesn't like tell you very quickly that this is the new ghost room but that the other th thermos also wouldn't tell you that because i guess you can see i think this is the temperature here it's just seven degrees um 
well not even it's lower but it's it's like six degrees or something and it's slowly gonna go lower can you give us a sign wait what what is happening it was hunting the yoka it's not a yoka all right run what the fuck is going maybe it is a wraith after all <laughs> what was that that was so strange is it like a hallway well the temperature is going up extremely weird like this is ghost just roaming all over the place all right let's just do the poltergeist check here uh because obviously we're in chain hunt territory right now so not gonna be able to do much more we already got our evidence anyway uh it's still cold here and it is going down again no it's going up i'm checking down here is it to you temperature slightly high. oh it opened that door uh-huh hi there ghost maybe it is a maybe it is a mare no is it like roamed away every time i turn on the light somewhere it's just in this hallway can you show yourself? Okay. <laughs> Hello? Well, that worked. All right, come over here. Is there a guy? No. It's throwing a few things, but nothing too crazy. So definitely not a poltergeist. It's also not a phantom. As you can see, normal blinking. Um, it's also not the twins. Man, we are getting some... We're getting a nice actual representation of what it feels like to start playing Phasmo. I mean, in the most insane way possible, because I am not playing like a new player here. But it's not this guy. 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 So once again, it is down to a guess. And this time I'm gonna have to say Spirit, because last time it was Spirit. Um, so obviously it's gonna be an Unreal then, but... <laughs> I'm gonna say it's just two spirits in a row. The classic ghost. <laughs> if it's twins, I'm gonna be very confused because they definitely sound at like normal speed, but it would explain the weird like hunting behavior all over the place. Come on, don't be an on Rio, be nice. Welcome back. Okay, that is very surprising. Interesting. So why did it hunt away from me then? That is so strange. Okay, so if you don't know, by the way, the Wraith has an ability. Let's see how many times it used it, because that's actually very important. Okay, it only did it twice. So that, right there. I I often, like the Wraith is so unreliable because it does it, its ability. Like that was 11 minute, which isn't very long, but it only used its ability twice, which its ability, it teleports the ghost to your location. So I think the one time it used it, I think I, I should have known at least a little bit that it was a wraith because remember when we had it hunt from the basement then i was in the kitchen and then i went to the basement and then it all of a sudden hunted from the kitchen which was because probably it teleported to the kitchen when i was there then i went into the basement it chilled in the kitchen for some reason uh and then it hunted from the kitchen even though i was already in its ghost room uh so yeah if you get weird like i should have known like if you get weird all over the place hunting uh, it could be that you're dealing with a phantom or, or a wraith or something. Uh, yeah. but yeah, we're getting some tough ghosts here, which is fun. This is what you're doing this for. To, uh, see if you can figure out any ghosts at all with the worst items possible. Yeah, what you hope with a wraith is that you get a really active one that is, like, very obviously teleporting. Uh, which that one wasn't very obvious. But there were a few signs. But that's the thing. Like... If you, like, hindsight's 2020, if you know which ghost it is, you can retroactively, like, oh, so that's why it did this. Oh, so that's why it did that. But if you have to figure it out the other way from behavior to which ghost it is, it's way less clear. Okay, interesting. Two door touches, or a door touch and an interaction here, but nothing. Um, that's... Oh, hi there! baby oh no not the baby ghost i hate the baby ghost looping the baby ghost is so annoying all right well it did a ghost event pretty much immediately could still be a shade though because when you're playing insanity it starts you start at uh 75 instead of 100 so even shades can do ghost events uh, the baby crawling is is terrible 
think that a Phasma tournament is possible? I don't think so. I think... I think uh, this is a game all about self-competition and not about global competition. It just... Like, you can force it to be whatever you want it to be similar to... I mean, it's, it's... Oh, no. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Um, you can make any game into a competitive game if you want to. I just really think that the RNG nature of Phasmo just does not... Uh, does not uh, suit a competitive structure. Because if you get lucky, you figure out the ghost in literally 10 seconds. And if you get unlucky, you figure out the ghost in literally one hour. Like, there's such a wide range of... Like, what I'm basically saying is that the, the thing that determines if you get the ghost fast or slow is not skill. It is the ghost. If you get the ghost at all is based on skill, but any the even the best freaking speedrunner in the game will take a while to figure out if a ghost is a mare whereas even the dumbest speedrunner in the game will figure out a thay in about like 10 seconds so the difference is just so massive that it just does not work for um or like because the whole reason of competition is to like put people against each other to see who's the best at something and you just cannot do that with like one game. You have to play like a, a thousand games <laughs> or like maybe not a thousand, but if you play like a hundred games, like, yeah, okay. At that point you can probably figure out differences, but that's just not how speedruns work. Where are you? Hey, do we have... Did it just turn on a light? It did just turn on a light. We can actually rule out a mare this time. Let's go. Okay. We also don't have fingies, which means it's probably not on a bar, okay? Uh, nice. So mares cannot turn on lights. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Maybe not. Look for Orbeez. I've seen this door so many times and I'm not getting EMF5. Probably no EMF5. It's like literally a speed run. And you kind of see that with like the the prevalent leveling strategy that people are using right now with like the the camp woodwind thing uh where you only get one hunt and then you either know the ghost or you guess like it shows that you literally like guessing guessing is a strategy in this game you could literally just hop in a game guess spirit and leave and one in 24 times you'd be instantly correct obviously that's not because of skill that's because of luck but it's the fastest run so like how does that work like i just think that we we need to self-police achievements in a, in a game like this like you need to just compete with yourself and have fun for yourself and for no one else um if you like to do crazy like one hunt uh no or custom difficulty runs where you just either figure out the ghost instantly and and then leave uh, or if you like to do a professional run where you just every round you get every single evidence Both of these strategies are completely valid and there's like no way to accurately compare the skill level between either of these uh, These categories of people Because it just depends on oh hi there There's also a finite amount of knowledge, right? Like, even though I'm still learning new things, like, very recently, literally yesterday, I learned a new thing about a shade, which, let me see if I already got a response from the devs, by the way. I didn't yet. Um, but I'm pretty sure that yesterday I learned something new about the shade, which is that it, uh, when you use a music box, it's the only ghost that can become a shadow ghost, whereas every other ghost will always become a normal model. Uh, let's see, is there just freezing in here? It's very cold here, considering the ghost wasn't even in this room. It's kind of interesting. It's going down. Yeah, there is there is a finite amount of knowledge. It's just that it hasn't all been discovered yet. So we're still learning new things to this day, which is just incredible. Like I, I, I also like can t say from personal experience that I am a person that is usually attracted to games that have like internal competition, such as a game I played for hundreds of hours is like Osu, which there's like, there is competition. It's, uh, but it's mostly just you getting better at the game yourself. And I almost, I, I think League to a certain degree is a similar game. 
Just a re- and the whole reason I ended up quitting League in the end was because I didn't like the competition. Like, the, the toxic competition aspect of it. Um, but I love the self-improvement aspect of it. I literally wrote, like, entire notebooks of, like, Alright, what did I do this game? What did I do poorly? Similar to, similarly to how I'm now, like, writing guides for Phasmo. And I'm like, okay, doing cool challenges, and then, like, okay, can I learn from my mistakes? Like, last game, I learned something that I should have probably noticed. And that doesn't mean that, oh, you've done terrible, you didn't get the ghost correct. That just means like, oh, I should I should shelf that off in my in my knowledge book and become slightly better at the game as a result. Uh, I'm not getting freezing, I'm getting absolutely fucking nothing. But this could be like a Gorio here. This is pretty tricky. Gorios absolutely suck if you have the uh, tier one dots projector, like they're horrendous. Now, the way you can figure them out is, like, how am I even supposed to do this? It is doing a lot of stuff. Never EMF, though. Never EMF 5, I should say. Um, maybe I put it... I think actually putting it over here and then pointing it this way might be the way to... Yeah, that's the best way. And then we stand right here. And we hope to see Gorio dots, but... Oh, that was just a normal touch. How do you place dots? You press... I don't know if it's... I, I have it set to F. I don't know if that's the default key. I think it is. Mom... Oh, hi there. It's gonna break the lights. Feels bad, man. Well, it's not a mare anyway, so... Default this F. Um, hmm. Is it gonna be freezing ever? It's still in this room. Like, this is still the technical ghost room. Like, that's... Um... A thing that points me into the direction of Gorio often is if you get a ghost that is out of its ghost room a lot, but it always returns to the original ghost room, that is very Gorio behavior to me because uh, what you have to keep in mind is that Gorios cannot can can roam like any other ghost. They cannot change ghost room, however. So especially if you're seeing a ghost that roams a lot, the way roaming or oh god, oh my god. It's crazy. It's crazy. The way um, the way changing ghost room works is that if it um, if it is in a different room, there is like every now and then the ghost will check like, do I want to change ghost room? And for it goes like, do you have low sanity? Uh, yes. Do you have uh, a difficulty that allows roaming? Yes. Am I a Gorio? Yes. All right. Well, don't do any of this. Am I not a Gorio? All right, change ghost room. So if you have a ghost that's out of its ghost room, oh God, a lot, but it never changes ghost room. That is actually very suspicious. Oh boy, could die here. This is very stupid. I should have just ran away. I should be able to live this, but... Definitely not a bother, guys. this hunt please end oh my god Whew. all right that was a little fucked um okay so let's see at least i could see the baby ghost there um it's not a dio obviously it's not a hantu it's not a raichu uh, it's not a thay it's not a revenant because i would have been dead it's not a phantom it's not an oni i think right did it blink like an oni i don't think it blinked like an oni uh we don't have any oh man we just don't have any evidence i think it's a gorio i think i don't know i've Maybe I'm tunnel visioning. Then I should be checking some other ghosts as well. This is just like such... Because it's also... Uh, or like supported in my brain by the fact that I'm not getting any evidence. Because the Gorio has forced dots. Um, and the way you get those dots are super tricky. Because obviously you have to get them... Oh. That is a loud sound for such a small ghost. <laughs> Uh, did it turn off the breaker? I don't know if it turned off the breaker. We could test for gin. Is it in this hallway though? Let's see. So it's still cold in here. Is it warmer in the hallway? It is warmer in the hallway. You can see the temperature going up. It's dark, but it's touching so many things out here. Interestingly enough, right? Can you please just do your Gorio dots? You can get Gorio dots like this, by the way, by being outside of the room. Uh, like, slightly outside of the room. 
that still counts as being far enough away for it to happen. Uh, but please. Oh, hi there. So it is in fact not an Oni. I also don't think it's a poltergeist. Doesn't seem like a demon because it's not hunting for a long time here. No demon. Uh, I should test for Yoka, but how do I test for Yoka without dying? There's not really a good strategy. Oh, hi there. I don't know if the light, I don't know if the light ended the ghost event. I guess I could stand. We should check for, oh, we should check for these ghosts. I think Myling is also off the table. So Myling is off the table, Moroi. Um, oh, here we go. Hello, hello, hello. Did it go to my location there? Hello, hello! Hello, hello! Okay, and it immediately came to my location, so it's definitely not a yokai. Hopefully I can survive this. Okay, so no yokai. Uh, it doesn't sound any special fasts or no twins either. Um, we should test for Wraith here, and I think we can test for Wraith. Or for Jin, sorry. Um... Wraith and Banshee are going to be hard again. We just really would love to have an evidence right now. I would kill to get an evidence. I would kill Psycho or CJ to get this evidence. For sure. And it's still cold in this room. It's still stuck in this room. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? I was watching the video you made about killing me with a tripod. <laughs> I didn't realize you actually spent the entire game just fucking planning the whole thing. <laughs> I thought it was just like something random you did. <laughs> oh god! Okay, it's not a gin. Run! Run for the hills! Okay, I'm alive. Can I hide here? I can't hide here. Okay. So it's not a djinn. It's not a mimic because no orbs. I think I have to go with Corio here. Just purely... It's very likely to be dots. In which case, I would have already expected to see it for any of these ghosts. We didn't get writing at all, right? It's definitely not a shade. I find that very unlikely. Um, and this is just one of those scenarios where we... We're just getting like really tough ghosts three times in a row, but that's the whole point of this in the first place. So it's not like uh, I wasn't signing up for that. I was totally signing up for that. Once again, this is the only, this is the room that is completely ice cold because this is constantly the ghost room. And what you almost always see when this is the ghost room is that the ghost will change out of it because this is such a shitty ghost room because there's nothing in there. So every ghost likes to walk out and go somewhere else. Now, obviously, I haven't properly tested for Wraith, Banshee, Yure, or Onryo, which there's only really tests for Wraith and Banshee. There's not really anything you can do about Spirit, Yure, or Onryo. But I'm just gonna go Goryo here because that is, this is like a 40% 40 40 chance uh, prediction here. And it would take a lot of time to rule these guys out. So I'd rather just learn from this and see if my intuition was correct or wrong. Um, then spend an additional like 15 minutes potentially doing nothing. I was correct. Look at that. That is exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, we get the tier three sound sensor. So yeah, uh, the Goryeo cannot change ghost room. As you can see, favorite room changes none. But if you look at the time out of the ghost room, look, time in favorite room was nine minutes and a half or nine, uh, basically 10 minutes, but six minutes or five and a half minutes was spent outside of the ghost room. And during all of this time, it could have changed ghost room, especially with this many events. Uh, so that's a great example of, if you get a ghost that isn't in the ghost room much, but it never changes the ghost room, you could be dealing with a Gorio as long as you also don't get any evidence because the Gorio dots are, for me personally, like I know people are gonna be like, well, you were in the house, yeah, that's how Go Goryeo dots work. You can still get them when you're in the house as long as you're not in the ghost room. But as soon as I leave the map, I just don't get Goryeo dots at all. So I've just, I don't know. Goryeo dots are just not working for me at the moment. I've already set this to the devs, but apparently uh, for other people, it's working just fine. So I guess I'm just going to have to learn how to deal with this shit. Uh, I doubt it's something unique to my game. 
So I guess there's just some, I guess it's just a skill issue because I've been not, like I have seen Gorio dots once since the update. And I, on day one, I got eight Gorios. Remember that shit when I played on the new update for the first time? I had eight Gorios and I didn't see Gorio dots a single time that entire day. <laughs> it was so fucked. Um, yeah, I just, I just don't know. I just don't know what to think anymore. Also, this flashlight sucks balls, by the way, if you didn't already notice. It's just going up here. All right, Ghost, can you give us a sign? You really want to stay in the light as much as possible when you're playing Insanity and you don't know where the ghost room is yet? Because once you get into that chain hunting territory, getting the evidence is going to be harder. Oh, hi there. There's something. I think I heard that over here. In the... Add it. Oh, that's a boner. This is such a shitty room. Is it in here? I heard something drop on the floor. Maybe it was in this hallway. I'm not seeing anything here. Uh, is it pillow? Is the pillow? All right, you can move this pillow. Why does the pillow make this noise? <laughs> that's such a weird sound for a pillow. Okay, so the ghost is here. Uh, that's the sound I heard. Now let's set up the dots in the writing book ASAP because I want to try and get because and dots and writing that's the thing with insanity I love the concept of insanity what I like but the problem with insanity is the forced evidence and not even really the forced evidence because the forced evidence can actually be really useful but the main problem is dots and writing dots and writing are so inconsistent that only having one evidence if you get dots are writing is that one evidence it's fucking annoying as hell um so what i like to do personally is do a nightmare round and just never go for dots or writing so like basically if i get one evidence i'll just start doing like uh, i'll start getting hunts and figuring out the ghosts that way uh, and i'll just completely forget about the second evidence because you don't really need it every time um Although I also think uh, Professional is a totally fun difficulty. I actually love playing on Professional. Uh, that's what I do often when I just, like, uh, play a few games by myself after stream or something. I like to hop in on Professional because it just goes so fast. And just knowing, like, I tend to do so many crazy, insane challenges on stream that just doing a few runs where I actually know what ghost it is without having to, like, freaking crack my brain about it. It's kind of relaxing. Can you give me a sign? Hello? No Orbeus? Is it here? No more Gorio, please. Okay, it's exactly... This is what I was talking about earlier. If you see it at the notch above zero, you know that that is the ghost room. Uh, so 100% certain I know this is the ghost room right now. And we're not seeing orbs, which means no mimic. Unless they're really sneaky. Also, probably not seeing freezing air, which means no Hantu, right? Because I feel like... Yeah. Huh? Is it going under? It's hard to tell. Reflection makes it hard to tell. Can you give me a sign? No fingies yet, and he knocks on the window. It's extremely quiet. Is this a shade? This might be a shade. Just still above zero. Yeah, I don't think this is a Hauntu here. This is wild. Let's bring some more items in here. I guess we'll try Spirit Box. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Are you grandma? All right, it doesn't seem like any of this shit. Uh, let's just bring in all this stuff. And just like litter the room with little items that the ghost can throw around. Because sometimes uh, you'll have a ghost that just like sticks in one area where there's no items. I wish that they would like work on making the stats, the end game stats a little better. Because there's so many issues. For example, an issue that I didn't know about or that I forgot about. If you have a shade every time the shade wants to do something there's like a check like am i a shade 
50% chance of, or 50% of the time, just don't do anything and skip this interaction and like wait longer. Uh, but every time it does that, like it skips the interaction because it's a shade, it still counts for the uh, statistics in the end game, which means that like you won't feel vindicated at all. When you look at the end game stats for a shade game where nothing happened, you'll see the stats and it'll be like, I moved 40 items. And you'll be like, no, you didn't, you fucking liar. <laughs> you absolute liar. Yeah, that is annoying. It's not doing, what, it, it, is it here or is this just like, what is going on, man? Oh, it's moving. Okay, you can see that immediately based on the... So it's it changed Ghost Room, most likely. So probably not Gorio this time. Is it here? Temperature's kind of stuck here. Is it in the hallway? As soon as I step in here, temperature's going up. So I think it... Oh, it touched a door. Can you believe it? Oh, I was really hoping for EMF 5 there. Fingerprint? No fingies. Okay. Or maybe it is back here. Never mind then. It could still be a Gorio. I just did a little little walk. Little fun walk. Can you give us a sign? Is it out here? Temperature's going up in here. Okay, so it is just still in this room. Never mind then. Alright, buddy, you gotta do something, cause it's uh I'm just gonna leave with shade here. This is the second time in like two days. Like I'd never have shades like this. Oh, hi there. All right then. Well, that makes it unlikely to be shade. But um, I never have shades that are actually this inactive. Most of the times my shades are still like normal active. And then afterwards you're like, haha, I was a shade the whole time. And you're like, what? Um, but if this ends up being a shade, yesterday I had potentially the most crazy ghost like the, cra the craziest shade I've ever seen, ever. It, I spent 15 minutes, we saw that after the end game stats, 15 minutes in the ghost room and it threw two items during 15 minutes, which I guess is kind of similar to what's going on right here. Uh, but we really should be getting at least one hunt before we, before we do anything because it might just be a crazy deal or something, like you never know. Like, I don't know. Oh, it's raining in the book. Look at that. It actually might just be a shit. <laughs> okay, so it can't be a Moro or a Dio because those will always have spirit box. So those are off the table. Um, if we get no Revenant, no Polter, no Myling, no Thay. I, let's just, we should just get one hunt downstairs. Like set up a Polter test already and then do one hunt. And if it doesn't do anything suspicious for pull or for for the ghost that we can figure out quick, I'm gonna go with shade here because this is some some stupid shit. There, hi. Okay. Oh, it's coming. Normal speed. Got the double back. Wait, it's walking away. Hello. Okay, it's definitely not a pulter, guys. It's also definitely not a revenant or something. Oh, got the double backs. You can actually see underneath this table. That's pretty rare for a looping spot. Okay, so we know it's not a revenant. We know it's not a poltergeist. We know it's not. My only, I think I heard it right. Definitely not a thay. Uh, wait, it can't. I don't know if it's sped up there, but I don't think it's a thay. Uh, Jinberg, thank you for the five. I'm just gonna go with shade here. Like, what else could it be? I, I don't know if it's sped up there, but I didn't really have line of sight with it. So I'm just gonna say that if this is a demon, I am going to laugh my ass off. <laughs> Did we have the light on most of the time? Maybe it could be a mare that it just was really annoyed by the light. Uh, we just like, and this is also gonna be interesting about the stats if it ends up being a shade or any other ghost. Okay, so it was a shade, very obvious. Man, uh, I don't know if they did something with shades, but holy shit, does it feel that like they're way less active now than they used to be. Uh, like I, Shade, I mean, there was a time when shades were literally just normal ghosts and they were like bugged basically. And then there was a time where shades were usually less active, but definitely not very reliable. But now it seems like far. So this, there's just no way it moved 21 objects. So the only thing I can think of 
is that it counts the items it throws during a hunt. That's like the only thing. Or, as I said, it counts the interactions that it didn't actually end up doing. It did change favorite room three times, actually, which is interesting. So we were right that it was doing some fishy business. Uh, but anyway, that was a shade. We're going to uh, do some more rounds. Uh, we got Jazz Bailey. What a name. We haven't gotten any, like... I mean, I guess you could consider that last ghost very obvious. It's just that, personally for me, any ghost, like... Obvious requires the ghost to have like a hard evidence and show you that like something like uh, a Revenant being really fast or a Wraith not stepping in the salt like something like that Those are hard evidences that you can use to figure out the ghost um, Whereas the hardest ghosts obviously are the ones that don't have any hard evidence, but only soft evidence such as a shade where um if it doesn't do a lot, yes, it could be a shade, but it could also just be literally any other ghost that decides to be chill that round. Which, if you are correct, like, all your... Like, if you work the other way around, like, if you work from... If I knew it was a shade, you can point at, look how inactive it is. But if you... Look how inactive it is, it must be a shade. That's not necessarily always true. Like, every shade is inactive, but not every inactive ghost is a shade. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um, so it doesn't work both ways. All right. We found our buddy here. Leave this here. Oh, oh no. Don't be all the way, please. I'm going to cry. Always is my least favorite on this map. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's annoying. It might just be hallway. Well... Hopefully it'll like getting dots or writing in this is gonna be so hard. Still can't believe we actually got writing last game. That was pretty damn lucky. Uh, by the way, you see the how silly the the hand on this FOV is. You could liter you can literally see the stump of the hand, that floating hand when you're using the dot sensor. It's so stupid. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Any... Oh. Wait, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? At this door? EMF 5! Let's go! So EMF 5 has to go above 5. So it can't just be, like, between 4 and 5 and touching 5. Sometimes it has to go, like, physically above 5 like that and be actually EMF 5. All right, so we got EMF 5. Which means it can't be an Obake, it can't be a Goryeo, because those would have fingerprints and dots, respectively. Um, there's actually... These ghosts are very nice. Spirit and Wraith are annoying, but besides those ghosts, any other ghost here is relatively easy to tell. Uh, except maybe Shade, I guess. Um, although the Shade will show itself by not hunting at all. We don't even need the rest of the items here, because we already know what it is. That is actually saved by the... Oh, hi there! Shadow ghost event, so it can't be an Oni or an uh, airball ghost event. Also, probably not a shade then, right? Because that was relatively fast. I almost felt like a twin interaction right there. The fact that it did that ghost event into that. Uh... Can I wait a minute? Did it turn on the, the, the shower during the ghost event or was it right after? Because I don't think. A ghost can do any interactions during... I think it was right after. Because the ghost cannot do any interactions during a ghost event. So if you see that, it has to be the twins. Um, was it this door again? EMA 5 once more. Man, EMA 5 happens so often. Okay, so it doesn't have to be the twins, but it could very much be. It turned on the lights, not a mirror, but we already know that. Right, I think it's just time for us to do hunts. But let's set up for... Uh, we don't even have to worry about poltergeist. I guess I guess it's just hunting time. You sound slow? It's slow. I think it's twins. I'm running. I think so. Not a hundred million percent sure. But I only need to be a hundred percent sure anyway. Uh oh god. Okay, it stopped. I think we're gonna get one more hunt just to hear if it's gonna be any different on um, the second time. 
Because that's the most easy way to tell. I? Already? Oh, yes. It's definitely the twins. Hear how much faster it is now than last time. You hear that? <laughs> it's not like crazy fast, but definitely faster than last round. It's also obviously not a Miling, obviously not a Raichu, it was definitely not a Jin. So I think it's the twins. That, once again, interesting that we already were on the trail of a twin before we even had the obvious evidence, which I think that is like secretly one of my favorite things to do. It's like already kind of have an idea of what the ghost is before you see their obvious evidence. Because any literal dumbass can figure out a revenant based on its audio during a hunt, which is not... I'm not trying to make your achievements of learning the, <laughs> the ghosts feel meaningless. Obviously, you need to know it before you can detect it. But if you know it, it's super easy. Uh, but it's more fun, in my opinion, to use the more in or uh, more more like intricate difficult ways of figuring out the ghost because it feels more rewarding at least to me uh but then you also obviously want to confirm it so yeah it used its ability once so maybe that was in fact a twin interaction who knows um like that one thing that happened that seemed fishy to us that could have been a twin interaction let's do please though we got michael wilson um Hopefully a nice ghost. We've actually been getting some relatively hard ghosts. Like, Twins is not the hardest, but Shay. Shay was hard. The Gorio was definitely hard. Obviously, that Wraith was sneaky. The Mare was... Was it a Mare? I don't know if that first... No, the first one was a Spirit, right? Um, man, this is dark. It's such a stinky... Stinky flashlight. Need to turn on the breaker. That's why I can't see. Oh, hi. Wait. Um, this might be a wraith. Excuse me. What was that? That was just out of nowhere. EMF two. Wait a minute. It is here, however. Is it, it through the? Sh what did it just throw the the bear here? I think it might have. Did it? No, it wasn't the bear. It was something else. This is interesting. Wait, let's see. They're going to be here in this hallway. It's colder in the hallway, so probably out here. Uh, let's see if it stays here. Let's grab some other stuff and see if the ghost stays here. Because if it doesn't and it le goes to a room far, far away, we know with 100% certainty that it has to be Banshee Wraith Phantom. Um, but if it that's just a ghost room, that might have been a coincidence and it could have been a Yure. No, it can't really be a Yure. Um, just gotta hopefully get at least one evidence. Or the only evidence we can get, I mean. Let's see if it's still here. Is it still in here or not? It's the thermal. The thermal. It's getting colder and remember the temperature goes down extremely slow. So, uh, where did I leave these guys? Oh. It's, that is an example. Uh, I was talking about it. How to distinguish between ghost events and hunts. That was a pretty hard... So the, the louder uh, a ghost event is, the, or the louder something is that the ghost does, the more likely it is that it's a ghost event and not a hunt. Because when it does a hunt, or when it does a ghost event, it'll sometimes close doors, it'll turn off lights, uh, which should turn off the breaker, by the way, so not a gin. Um, and for hunts, it never does any of this. For hunts, it literally just... Uh, or if you can see it immediately, you know that it's uh, not a not a hunt because the the grace during the grace period the ghost will be invisible. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Ah, uh, that was dots, right? I just saw dots. I think not a Gorio. That was extremely short. I saw like one frame of a dots. Uh oh. I'm dead. Well, let's pray that we don't get killed. <laughs> it's definitely not a Raichu, not a Dio, not a Thay. Oh boy. I could... Wait a minute. I think this hunt at this point is gonna stop before I get killed. So let's check for... Yokai, maybe? I think we can check for Yokai in an easier way, though. Okay, it's just completely running away. 
I'm hiding in a random corner. No, that's actually a hiding spot right there. Wait, did it? Wait, did I ever turn on the breaker? I swear I had lights on. No, I, I don't think I ever turn on the breaker, but it doesn't matter because it can't be a gin anyway. But you need to make sure that you actually turn on the breaker. Otherwise you fool yourself. I think it's going to be all the way upstairs. So I definitely did not turn it on. Is it? Look oh, dark. Yeah, it's all the way out here. I definitely didn't go up here. Um, we need that for being able to see. Turning on lights is so important for like doing hunt investigations. This is like figuring out if something is a phantom or an oni or a poltergeist or an obake is so much harder if you can't see. So turning on the lights is just a great help with that. We're gonna test for yokai here. Uh, it can't be a poltergeist anyway, so we're fine with that. It's just for yokai just by sitting here and then phantom and oni are gonna be obvious. Oh, uh, that is very likely to, it was that this door. I think it was this door. It, it's probably gonna be a wraith or a banshee here. And I think it's just a wraith because of that initial interaction. Oh. Let's see. Okay. Well, oh no, it's actually a phantom. Never mind that. Oh god, I got stuck on a chair. I was wrong. But the phantom also has a similar ability to the to the wraith, so I was right about the the weird abilities. As you can see right now, it's almost always invisible. Like it's really hard to see the ghost. That's what the phantom does. That's the phantom hidden ability. Uh, so yeah, so phantom, wraith, banshee, phantom all have abilities that allow it to roam to where you are. Um, the wraith will teleport, the phantom will walk, and the banshee will also walk, but only to its target. Uh, whereas the phantom can go to any ghost. Uh, but yeah, that was a really obvious ghost. Now the problem with phantoms... Wraiths are way more obvious because when the wraith teleports to your location, it gives an EMF at that location. Whereas for Phantom, when it decides to roam to you, it gives a EMF at the location where it started roaming, which is way harder, obviously. Um, so I don't know if that what was what we saw there. Let's see. Did it use its ability? It used its ability a single time, so it could have been at the very beginning, but probably not. Probably just got a random EMF too. Once again, we got a good round. All right, we got Jerry Stevens. Normal name, Jerry Stevens EMF. We can do that. Escape and sanity. We can get a perfect game here. Well, not a perfect game because we don't have photo cam, but... In... Wait a minute. You didn't photo... Wasn't photo cam a starter item before? It's interesting how they took it away. I'm pretty sure photo cam was a starter item, right? Why did they take that out? Because it was never really a starter. Like, it was never really required as a starter item anyway. I guess because now you can take infinite photos. They felt it was too strong if you would have it from the beginning. But it also means that you're losing out on a lot of cash when you're starting out. Because the photo cam is... I mean, I guess not a lot of cash because they nerfed photos so much. What is going on? EMF. Touch this door. It was freezing breath in here. There's a big boner over there. Okay, so it's in this tiny room. Important to note that because it's going to be important for Gorio later. Like, you need to... Uh, identify the ghost room so you can later use it to rule out a Gorio. That's also another thing I really love about Phasmo is that it is it rewards planning ahead so well like not just like first of all obviously it rewards like planning ahead for hunts by either having crucifixes or smudge sticks or something like that but it also like uh really rewards planning ahead when it comes to figuring out which ghost it is because if you like Pay very close attention to if it ever turns on a light switch, you can then use that to rule out a mare, which might not ever become relevant because the evidence you're going to gather is going to rule out mare anyway. However, if you end up having to make that really tough distinction between uh, mares and like, I don't know, spirit or something, you're very happy that you uh, have been paying attention for the whole round rather than... Because most of the things that are... Like, most of the soft evidences that ghosts can do 
uh, are super, super rare. So you really want to like be paying attention the entire time. Mares can turn off light switch. Mares can turn off light switch. I meant turn on a light switch. Mares cannot do that. If I said that wrong. Um, and hopefully we'll not get dots this time. Did you see dots? I didn't see dots. Portable screen. Yeah, it would be nice if they had some kind of like watch that'll allow you to see the um, sanity stuff, but I don't know if they're ever going to do that. I think they are. They want to make they want to require people to use teamwork. So like, I think I think the devs are big fans of truck dwellers like I oh EMF five um, because like you can especially see that in this update because they have added so many new things for truck dwellers like the sound sensor the ability to move the cameras around is huge uh they have added many new motion sensors that you can use from the truck uh so it really feels like they are uh trying to like reward uh truck dwellers or trying to help out truck dwellers which also like makes more of a team dynamic right like you kind of get a role system without actually implementing a role system because you get like the one that is crazy during a hunt that's looping the ghost the one person that's always taking all the photos the one person that is always fucking using the cursed possession when they're not supposed to and they kill everyone the one person that's always just sitting in the truck and that like uh survives every single mission because whenever the team wipes they don't even go into the house they just guess a ghost and leave like everyone's included <laughs> so we don't even need to do this anymore it's literally is it actually here yeah i mean it's going up there's so many archetypes of players it's going up it seems to be very mobile if this is the ghost room because it is not going down to zero or to one Aim at five. That means we are not dealing with a Gorio, not an Obake. Um, we don't really have any idea right now. Hopefully we'll get... I really want to see an Oni. Onis are cool, but I don't think this is an Oni. Let's uh, put some stuff in this room. Or for... first, let's set up a Polter. Well, I guess we don't have to do a Polter check, so never mind. Ooh. Threw that on the floor. Hey, wait, is it in the dining maybe? Maybe I'm wrong. Because it is going up. No, this is hot. And this is hot, so it is still in this room. Let me just spam this room full of shit. Can the ghost even still throw writing books? I don't think I've ever seen a ghost throw the tier one writing book without writing in it. All right, buddy, I got this whole setup for you right here. Please do something. Is it just another shade? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh. Hi there. It did a air ball, so it cannot be an Oni. Oh, and it's something. Hello? Okay. Rod. Can it be a yokai? It cannot be a yokai. It's probably not a miling, right? Oh, oh. I don't, oh God. I don't. The fuck? It can't be a polter guys though. It's definitely not a mining, it's definitely not a Raichu. It didn't sound like the twins there. We need to test for a Jin. Ring ring ring. Test for a Jin. That was definitely a normal hunt, I think. Just a regular hunt. EMF. I love the sound of the this EMF, man. I know it's like a Geiger counter sound, but I it sounds better than a Geiger counter sound. Like the Geiger counter. I don't know the ticks are more annoying and this one i actually like it um let's see i thank you for the 17. all right so this could be potentially very hard we're gonna stand back here if it once again oh it's already hunting normal speed so no twins okay wait did you hear that it sounded fast as hell when it turned around that corner but it wasn't For a second there, it sounded like it sped up, but I don't think it actually did. Look back here. Yeah, it's not a gin. Okay, uh, so no gin, which in that case, 
we're kind of doomed <laughs> because that means we are now down to three ghosts that are borderline impossible to figure out if we compare this ghost the last ghost like the the actual shade that we had before this one is like 10 times more active so i'm gonna rule out shade just because of the comparison like it, it was still really inactive so it could totally be a shade but way more active than the last one now i did have that one situation where like just now where it kind of roamed to my location or like that weird hunt out there but let's just stand over here and see if we get any weird hunting behavior because of wraith or something oh no it's just there again i think it just changed ghost room yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't know if we got Wraith. This is just tricky, man. Wraiths are so sneaky. Like, I wish they used their ability more often. Just don't really... Normal speed. Stop. Stop it, ghost. You're not allowed to kill me. Uh, one more time, and if we don't get it to come over here, then we're just gonna go with spirit. It's something again, not anywhere close. Hmm. I, I am inclined to just say that this is a spirit then. Like, obviously it could still be a wraith, but that is like three hunts in a row that it didn't come to our location at all. So it's either just big chilling or it is, oh, look at the EMF. EMF is going a little crazy. I'm just gonna run to the entrance because it's already gonna stop hunting. Yeah, there you go. All right, so let's see if this is a spirit or if we got another sneaky wraith, our second sneaky wraith in a row. Come on. <laughs> That's such a good example of what I was talking about earlier that you never know if it's a shade, which we did get airball ghost events, by the way. Airball ghost events, they are slightly more likely for shade, but uh, we did get two of them in 11 minutes that is two go that is like one ghost event every five minutes uh it only changed favorite room once uh, and it did way more things than that last one did it moved 15 doors which i think these were mostly outside of hunts uh so yeah that's just a good showcase so it, it rang the phone like seven different times so you can't even those shades as i said all shades are inactive but they are like vastly different in act of inactivity some are like fucking crazy low activity and some are just regularly shy like that one that one was just a somewhat shy ghost but nothing compared to that first one we got janice roberts um this is what you expect though i mean unless you it's it's kind of wild because 50 percent of the ghosts you can figure out with a single hunt uh, so I guess the, the the Phasmo gods were like, hey, we're going to give you a set of ghosts that you're going to be struggling with. That's the whole point, right? Because if we would have just got... What the fuck? Oh, it was a shadow. I thought that was a ghost. Look at that. What is that? I thought there was a ghost standing at the door and it just disappeared. But it's like a shadow of something. I don't know what that is, but it looks creepy as hell. <laughs> what is that? I have no idea. <laughs> Spooky. Oh, hi there. Excuse me. Was that a true interaction? Did you see that fucking bounce? What the hell was that? It landed and then flew again? <laughs> what was that? Wait a minute. Something is not... Oh. Something is very, very weird here. Let's get an evidence first. Maybe fingies twins and send it it could also be a poltergeist i love i love moments like this where you're walking into the map and then immediately uh you're like mm, wait a minute i think i know what this is you because it gives you some kind of lead to go off of right because even though you might be wrong at least in this moment i'm like okay let's let's further this hypothesis and see if we can we can uh find out if it is in fact a, a poltergeist and then if it ends up being a poltergeist you feel like a damn genius because you were like i knew that the minute i stepped into the map or 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 the twins in this case yeah the polter pal is gonna be for the hunt though i have not seen a poltergeist ability outside of a hunt in a while like the 
I mean, it's also not been required anymore because it used to be like the only way you could figure out Polter's Rice was right was during hunts, uh, but not anymore. Oh, hi there. So now that is unlikely to be a shade. My spear box. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you? It's out there now. Fuck you. Name of two. You hate the stats. You and me both. You and me both. Very cold. I didn't turn on the breaker though. No, I didn't. Which I think in this situation is actually okay. We'll leave that off, maybe. Can you give us a sign, please? Stay in this room. Pretty please. Stack all of these items in the middle. Oh. Immediately threw one of them. Come on, do a poltergeist throw. I want to see an explosion. Oh, air ball, not an Oni. And once again, less likely to be another shade. Was that... Dots? Wait, was that dots? Can we get an instant replay on that? Oh, fuck me. Wait, what? Already? I guess it did two ghost events. I don't know. I would have to re like see the clip again because it could have been my freezing breath. But let's say hypothetically it was dots. Then I don't know what the hell is going on here because then all our plans are in the water. Because then it can't be a poltergeist nor the twins. That was a weird early hunt. Normal speed. What was that? Let's turn on the... Turn on the breaker. That kind of felt like it was early, but it can't really be a thing because it wasn't that fast. Oh. Excuse me? What is that? Maybe Wraith Banshee Phantom? What the fuck? I was far away from the ghost room, brother. What are you doing out there? All alone? And now you're back in the ghost room throwing stuff already? Hey, you're singing here! What's happening? What are you doing? Oh, it's freezing! Never mind, it wasn't dots. Okay, wait a minute. That changes everything. Okay. Oh, it wasn't dots? We were- we, were, we got fooled. Uh, in that case... Stuff is a little bit more as I hoped it would be. So, let's just for Jin. Jin Revenant... Hantu. It could be Hantu. Moro is kind of scary. Hello? I think I should just listen first, maybe. Could just be a demon. I think it might just be a demon. That wasn't... That was very early. That hunt was very early. I don't think that was a normal hunt. So if we don't get anything obvious here, it's probably just a demon. It's not hunting right now, though, weirdly enough. Isn't this insanity? Yeah, but that was still early. If you compare that to any of the previous rounds we had, that was way more... Yeah, it can't be a Mora because of her box. Uh, that was way less ag aggressive. I think it's time to just sit here and listen. Hopefully not die. Please just hunt. Here we go. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. Oh, it's clearly the twins. It's clearly the twins. We were right from the very, our literal instant. As soon as we stepped into the map, five seconds in, we were right about what ghost it was. You can hear how fast it is. That's so cool. So yeah, that was that was probably the like the most unique to interaction that I've ever seen. It threw that one plate, and then before when it landed, it like threw it again. It did like a little bounce. That was very cool. Um, it, unless this is the most big brain mimic the world has ever seen, where it confirms my bias to get to bait me into getting it wrong. Uh, but we also didn't see orbs, right? So very unlikely. And obviously that sounded fast for sure. Like that was the exact same speed as the, the twin we had earlier. We're getting a lot of repeat ghosts here, weirdly enough. This is the second twins, right? There you go. It was in fact the twin. And let's see, did it use its ability? 
has used its ability five times. So yeah, very obvious. Also two favorite room changes. Uh, and it did all kinds of twin stuff, right? Like doing, not as, like the ghost events far away from the ghost room are not necessarily twin stuff because any ghost can teleport away for a ghost event, but it was doing them like very, very far away from the ghost room, like unreasonably far away. And then especially, I think the main thing that made it very suspicious was that it did a ghost event far away and then literally two seconds later in the ghost room it threw something so it was like there and then there and then there again like it was just it was just all over the place um look at the beautiful stars of the sunrise weather they need to add like a one in ten thousand chance to get maybe not one in ten thousand but like a one in one in 200 chance to get a random like daytime weather that'd be so weird oh okay <laughs> it's a thing it's a thing easy easy scam my life <laughs> i think oh god no <laughs> okay i think i can say like moroi in my opinion is probably the most dangerous ghost like consistently through all of the difficulties because moroi is dangerous on zero sanity moroi is dangerous actually can be very tricky when you're playing on like on normal games because they can they are like slow they are like normal speed and then suddenly they're super fast when they get really low and they also have a way to drain your sanity fit fast like moros are so dangerous but i think the only ghost that is more dangerous than the moroi is the thay when you're playing in sanity mode and specifically when you're playing in sanity mode because when you are when you load up a game of insanity mode you start the game with 75 percent sanity which means that as soon as you open the door that they can immediately hunt and immediately like terrorize you with its maximum speed which makes it really 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 scary so yeah there you go oh we get the tier tier three dots projected that we cannot use right now because we're doing the level one challenge we're already level 60 i'm getting a lot of levels from just playing regular insanity this is fun uh, i'm going back to tango oh and actually let's go to edgefield edgefield can be very tricky so, uh, you might have been thinking there, like, that could have also been a Mimic. It could have been a Mimic, however, it would have been really rare to be a Mimic because, uh, I don't, I think it's been quite a while now since they changed this, but the Mimic, when it turns into a Thay, will set a random age between the minimum and the maximum age. So, in order for that to be a Mimic, it would have had to become a Thay and then set itself to the maximum age because it literally hunted as soon as we stepped in there, which meant that we were actually exactly at 75 percent sanity uh which made it very 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 unlikely to be uh a mimic they because like the mimic they as i said sets a random age so it for it to set the maximum age that would have just been very unlucky <laughs> all right well now we're back in a normal game we could actually <laughs> it's interesting what a wide variety of stuff we're seeing but that, that shows you like it's kind of ironic how the more dangerous a ghost, the more, like, easy it becomes at a high level. Because staying alive is, like, becomes, at a certain point, becomes, like, so, like, pretty easy. Staying alive. I could have died there if the ghost was, like, roaming very unluckily there, but it didn't. Which is what you usually expect. So the ghosts that have like really dangerous hunting abilities, which are usually very scary, um, are actually like a great benefit when you're at a high level. Okay, freezing in here maybe? This probably ghost room. I already turned on the breaker and everything. Wait a minute, are you in here? Are you in another freaking shade? Cause I didn't hear shit walking in here. Okay. I assume this is your room. Let me get some stuff here. Alrighty, let's see. Is it actually- is it gonna be freezing here? Feels like it might be. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? It hasn't done anything yet, by the way. <laughs> Place this writing book. Ah, uh, wait, that's the dots. That's not a writing book. 
Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Let's see. There's Orbeez. You turn on the light. Not a mere. You turn it off again. <laughs> for ema5 this is e very high emf but not ema5 suspicious though where are you is it gonna be freezing maybe not don't be riding don't be riding again don't be a riding shade i swear to god i've gotten one too many of those can you please touch a door oh. did you just throw the writing book Wait. Did it? Oh, it threw this. Never mind. It threw my camera. <laughs> cool. Does the ghost can do that now? That's so weird. All right, buddy. Why are you not doing anything? Also, I love how this... I love how the rotation point of this camera is completely fucked. <laughs> You see that shit is like rotating around the the lens rather than just the middle. <laughs> All right, come on. Give me a sign. You are such a f shade. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? Is this real? really the three shade in a row challenge now like what the fuck <laughs> please man can you crack a joke i was wasn't watching a video about corrupt politicians being pulled over by cops and one of them was literally smoking crack and he was like do you know who i am <laughs> I was like, yeah, you're like a politician who was ruining their entire life by smoking crack, you idiot. <laughs> and then he got fucking, like, arrested and fired. <laughs> Is that enough for cracking a joke? <laughs> you just watched that last week. I don't think that was... I think I misrepresented that guy. I mean, I don't think that was... There were a few other guys that were more belligerent. I think that guy was actually the most cooperative. Even though he was the one that did like the most fucked up shit out of all of them. Like the, that's so funny to me. Like the one guy that did crack cocaine is the guy that is <laughs> by far the most cooperative. Whereas the guy that like gets like pulled over for a speeding infraction is like, Do you know who I am? Get me your freaking commissioner on the line right now. <laughs> so stupid. Okay, this is like such a shade. I I haven't even gotten a hunt yet, but I've been sitting here for the last five minutes. Nothing has happened. We've been here three times. If this is not a shade, then I'm just gonna be salty. But this is like, this is m less active than the one we had before. I haven't even gotten a hunt this time and I'm out. Like this could be a revenant or some other crazy sh like shy ghost but i've i've had enough of this i've had enough of these shy pieces of garbage that don't do anything it's probably just a writing shade <laughs> what is happening stop giving me shade <laughs> fuck you man this is so annoying look at that see this is more like it and and this is including what i was saying the interactions that it didn't actually do like it didn't move this many doors uh, because the way that the interactions work is that it will try to do an interaction, but then sometimes it's prevented from doing an interaction because it's a shade, but it will still count them towards the overall count. So, yeah, in this situation, there was just nothing. Just fucking nothing. <laughs> Stupid. All right, Judy Walker. Please no shade this time. Please give me an Oni instead. I've been wanting an Oni to show that off. Or like a Thay that's not going to immediately kill me. I love Thays, but Thays on insanity mode are just... Yeah, they're they're a little mean. They're ready to murder. Please be a phantom. I love phantoms too. I like phantoms because they have... Like so many different ways you can... Like no phantom is ever the same. 
because you can figure them out taking a photo you can figure it out by their roaming ability you can figure it out during a hunt like i like ghosts that have like a mix of soft evidence and hard evidence where uh like for something like a wraith i really like wraith because wraith has like a really cool hidden ability but then it also has a really obvious interaction with salt now obviously in this situation we don't have salt so we can't benefit from that oh probably not a shade this time <laughs> let's go um and the most annoying ghosts in my opinion are like ghosts that have only soft evidence such as yure or mare um those are more annoying because they are Especially for something like no evidence. Like, obviously, this only all applies for no evidence. Because if you just have, like, all three evidence, then it doesn't matter at all. In those scenarios, the Gorio is by far the most annoying. Because getting Gorio dots is just hell. Uh, it is Orbeez. Look at that. Um. Orbeez. I know Oni, but that is already impossible anyway. Uh, our sanity is fucked now. We don't need this anymore. We could still get spirit. We could still get a mimic here. Uh, so let's check for fingies. Let's just grab the... Because the mimic is still gonna... The mimic always shows orbs, even on no evidence. Plus an additional one. Or on insanity, at least. On no evidence, the mimic is actually the most obvious ghost out of all of them. Because you get an evidence where you're not supposed to get any. Um... Mare potentially. No Obake this time. No Hauntu as well because Hauntu is freezing and this is Orbeez. Uh, it touched this door. Check, check, check. Touch this door. Turned off the light. Was that another ghost of it? No. AB Mare. It's getting annoyed because I turn on all the lights. Let's see. Let's try Spirit Box. Where are you? Are you here? I think, where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Let's see. This one? Did you throw both of these? Oh. oh, big throws. Where are you? Are you, hi. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? Okay, so it's probably not a mimic because we're not getting thingies, we're not getting spirit box, and it's also not freezing. Uh, so we can rule out that guy now, at least for the time being, and focus on the rest. Um, should turn on these lights. That, that ghost event could have been because Banshee. Uh, we don't have a paramic though, so we can't really do that. Just so much harder than no evidence, by the way, even though we're getting one evidence. Is it even in this room? Is this the room? Maybe this room? Why is it not... This is not making the room colder. No more console. The console update has been delayed by two months. Hi there, buddy. Get looped. Get looped during a ghost event. How did you touch me from all the way over there? That is just cheating. I mean, I guess I wanted my... Oh, okay, well... Hello, hello, hello. Whoa, what are these throws, though? It's not a poltergeist, right? No? Not a revenant. Interesting. If we can rule out quite a lot of ghosts here. I'm gonna stop hunting in one, two, bye-bye. I said bye-bye. There we go. Um, all right, this guy, this guy, this guy, because it was speeding up there. Probably not a yokai. I think it might just be a banshee. And what we can test for that is like standing over because when we were walking out here it did that singing ghost event it did another singing ghost event we could stand back here because the banshees like absolutely spam their ability like unlike the wraith where it's really rare the banshee does it like a solid like every one to two minutes okay this is a banshee let me get out of here <laughs> all right then there you go. <laughs> I mean, unless that is a singing fucking Yure that decides to go far away from its ghost room to sing 
a beautiful song in my my ears i i don't know how this can't be a banshee because that is both roaming to your location as well as singing ghost event i should have probably had a an emf on me there but i mean there you go it was a banshee 1500 every time for these games by the way Let, let's count, see how many abilities i'm telling you he's gonna click it does it so many times uh it did it only two times that's i mean i guess it was only five minutes but yeah as i said it does it like around every two minutes every two minutes it uses its ability uh sometimes even like every single minute uh depending on the way it works out and we're getting we're now getting better ghosts we're getting better ghosts and we'll be we're able to show more interesting abilities uh which this is why i love fast moments like you realize how fucking stupid this is right now? I am using no items. Literal, the dog tier, dog shit trash that you get when you start the game. And I'm playing on the hardest difficulty made from the by the developers. And I am still getting the ghost right like 70% of the time. I love Phasmo because it's a game that is completely knowledge based. Like, if you know, like if you know what you're doing, you in almost every situation you can find a solution um and if you don't know what you're doing you will you're just gonna fucking die every single time like it's so interesting to me how is it here oh it is there ema5 wait is it ema5 it has to be ema5 right yeah okay okay dude <laughs> Hey, boss! Well, it's not a freaking. <laughs> it's not a, uh. Not a shade. Yeah, Phasmo is a puzzle game. I've always said that. I've said that from the very beginning. Once I started understanding the mechanics, that Phasmo is just a well disguised puzzle game. Because it is. Like, oh, I guess we don't need anything else. I'll take this. Uh, cause we don't even need to check for, uh, or mimic here. Cause it's literally just EMF five. Easy peasy. Phasmo is a FPS. It's a first person shooter. Phasmo is a unity game. Also true. Technically true. All right, buddy. You went a little crazy there. You want to just hum me? Uh, what are we looking for here? Wraith. I think maybe step. So it's not Obake. It's not Gorio, which is always nice. Uh, Myling Raichu. Can we get a Raichu? Raichus are scary. I'll leave my EMF here for Raichu, potentially. Can you give me a sign? Phasmo is play to win. Damn, dude. These fucking play to win devs. Uh, I just want to get hunted, please. It's Cluedo, but terrifying. <laughs> it would be... There was that one game. I would think it was like... Uh... They die tomorrow or something. Because there hasn't been a game like that that is executed in, in a fun way. Like, where you arrive at a scene and there's been a murder and the ghost has murdered a person. And based on how they murdered a person, that's how you figure out what ghost type you're against. That would be pretty interesting. Like a murder investigation uh, ghost hunting game. But those don't exist. I mean, there's one, they die tomorrow. But I didn't even make a single video on that game because when I played it, it was absolute garbage. Not to be rude to the first people that liked that game. I did not enjoy it. That's just my own opinion, though. Shadows of Doubt. I mean, it's not a ghost hunting game. It would, like, I think that would actually be very... That would be a potentially very interesting game. An, a ghost hunting game that's like a murder mystery. A murder, solve a murder mystery ghost hunting game. Where the way you figure out the ghost is by solving the murder mystery. Now, I guess you could say that... Oh, hi there. Hi, it's already hunting. Normal speed. Be quiet. Wait a minute. Not quiet, not a miley. Is it a gin? Wait. Maybe Jin?
Oh, come on. Uh, maybe Jin? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it was definitely not a Raichu, that's for sure. But the other ghosts were gonna have to get another hunt, so only we would have to look for the blinking. I wasn't really paying attention. Twins? I think that sounded normal, so I don't think it's twins. Let's stand back here for Wraith. Like, we're gonna have to be far away from this ghost. I should really grab the the EMF here so that if it does the Wraith ability, I can detect it with the EMF. Oh, hi there. What are you doing? I, I can't see you right there. You're a little creepy. It can't be a banshee. I'm gonna stand over here and wait. We're waiting for Wraith to teleport, Jin we're gonna do, and then Oni will just be blinking and Twins will be speed. It's definitely not a shade. If this is a fucking... <sighs> Maybe Wraith? Like, that is kind of fishy. <laughs> what if we stand, like, all the way out here? Like, all the way over here? If it actually comes to our location, it is 100% a wraith. Because wraiths can teleport across floors, right? right? For banshees, it can't. But for wraiths, I think it's possible. Is it hunting? I see blinking lights. Come up here. Normal speed. Definitely not a gin. Oh boy. It's not even finding me. What an idiot. Slightly fast. Yeah, that's because it saw me. All right. I think after that, it sounded normal. We're going to have to be a little closer to the ghost, though. I don't know. It feels like Wraith is very likely based on those abilities, but then it didn't continue doing it as much. That could be a good example of how you can be fooled into thinking a ghost is a Wraith, though, because it teleported to that location, which was close to the ghost room. And then from there, it teleported to this location using ghost events, right? So ghost events can make ghosts such as... That can make any ghost appear to be a Wraith or a Banshee or Phantom, which is kind of frustrating. Um, I def it's definitely not a jit. Not a mimic because we have EMF five. Oh, here we go. Normal speed. It was closer there. Oh fuck! Is it Oni? Actually. The Holy Ghost is gonna stop hunting very soon here, though. Yeah. Um. I don't. No. <laughs> I didn't get a good of an eye. I don't think that was Oni. There were some long blinks in there. Um. But let's say it's not Oni. It's not this. Then it's either Spirit or it's Wraith. In which case, uh, it did do the very suspicious Oni thing. Wait a minute. Let's let's just. Oh, hi, you turned that on. Uh, let's do one more hunt and just pay purely attention to if it's an Oni or not. Come on, do a Wraith ability. Oh, hi. Like that, what the hell, man? Like, it didn't, oh, come on. Uh, Oni? Doesn't look like Oni. There's definitely some long blinks in there. I some really long but there's also some short blinks but there's just a bunch of normal blinks what the fuck I mean I the weird part there is that we didn't get emf2 so it did do like it it seemingly teleported to our location, but we didn't get the EMF too. But that is literally three times in a row that we had the ghost go far away from its ghost room and do a ghost event close by us. So obviously it could be a spirit that's just extremely roamy, but I just have to go for Wraith here purely because it's like a 70 to 30% chance. Like, yes, it could be a spirit, but like I would feel very silly if I guess spirit here and it ends up be a, being a Wraith. And I don't feel as silly if I guess Wraith and it ends up being a spirit just because of the way like 
the evidence I've been given here. So yeah, there, <laughs> like it could, that is just weird. <laughs> um, that's a good example of how ghost events can make ghosts feel like they're teleporting. But obviously we didn't get EMF from the, from the, from the like ability because the, the spirit doesn't have any ability. So yeah, it's just, it's just unfortunate. Let's do one more round. This one is for all the marbles on Tanglewood. All right, let's see. Emily, I thought it said Emily, Emily, Emily Everly, <laughs> Emily Everly. Um, and then we're gonna walk in here and immediately die to a Thay. That'd be classic. Alrighty. Hello, buddy. I really love that they added the stats, by the way. It's so weird that for the longest time after a game was over, you'd be just like, all right, that's it. Like, we, you know you had the ghost right or wrong, and that was all you had. There was no information at all. That was such a use, such a fun change. Still, I feel like they need, they should expand it even more. Like, there's, like, what ghost room, what were the ghost rooms, and like, or specifically, oh, hi. You turn off the light switch. Mayor potentially. Uh, and specifically in the stats, I would really like to have more detailed stats about every ghost. Like, how many times have you seen each ghost? Like, there's literally just a page here that's completely empty. Like, how many times have you seen each ghost? How many... Uh, specifically, what I would really, really have so much fun knowing is what is your accuracy against each of the ghost types? Like, that would be so fun. Like, for me personally, I would have, like, a... I mean, not a 50% accuracy, but by far my least accurate ghost would for sure be Mimic. Because every time I like go into a, like every time I get an obvious ability, I'm like, okay, it's a phantom. And then I leave and it ends up being a Mimic. Like that happens so many times. That'd be so cool. Another stat I'm really missing is like a perfect game stat that counts how many perfect games you've gotten over the time. Because the, the, the reason is like what I find so silly is that they obviously have the stats for how many times you in, you find a ghost because how else would they be able to give you the most common ghost? Like there's obviously like some kind of uh, counter going on in the background for each of the different ghosts. So why don't they just show us that data? Um, like they might not have the data for each specific ghost and your accuracy on them but they could just add that from now on right um i would love to see that expand i'm like a data freak like i love looking at like i remember like i, I just like uh seeing as many stats as possible about things i enjoy uh so i just feel like this is such an underused thing right here like there's so many things that are so pointless like racers recognized uh i guess ghost repel this fun or whatever but like I'd way rather have more of more stats like ghost identified, ghost misidentified, object of completed is fun. Uh, like I way rather have stuff like that. And that's of course times revived. I'm glad that is in there. Uh, instead of just like all these useless numbers. I want more fun numbers. Okay, it's going down here. So it is in the living room. <clears throat> uh, whoops. EMF here instead of the. Oh, it's not an enemy. Did we already get a ghost event? Or am I imagining that? I mean, that was just a ghost event, but. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? You haven't had much spare box, huh? Where are you? I'm skilled by CJ. <laughs> Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? But yeah, specifically the amount of perfect games plus like more detailed stats per ghost, like how often you get them and how many times you died again. Like, you know how cool that would be? Like if you could just have like a page on how many times I've died against each of the different ghosts, like it gives you such a clear indication on which ghost is the most dangerous to you personally. Oh, well. This ghost is dangerous. That would be so cool. Smiling? 
I thought it was kind of faster. Maybe. Maybe not. In the basement. It sounds slightly faster. Maybe. Hmm. What is going on here? <laughs> that was weird. Door touch. This door. Check for fingies. Game of normal, not fingies. It's not in this ghost room anymore. It's actually now in here. I don't know if that. Because the temperature here is going up, but it's definitely throwing stuff in here. That seemed like an early hunt, didn't it? I guess I didn't get that one ghost of it. Hmm. Oh, come on. Am I gonna die here? Oh, I'm dead. Give me my sprint. Give me my sprint! Woo! Okay. Holy shit. That was fucked. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Are you a yokai? Hello, hello. Another yokai? Wait, actually? No. Probably not. That was very, very, very close. Like, that is where even the most minuscule like misstep would have killed me like i had to do the absolute perfect line from here to here from here to here from here to here like <laughs> that is just uh like familiarity with the with the map because <clears throat> that could have led to a lot of a lot of pain i right, take this and please let me set up this dots before you attack again piece of garbage Oh, come on! I'm gonna die. Wait, actually, let's try. <laughs> he can't keep getting away with it! He can't keep getting away with it! <laughs> oh, man. Yes, he can, baby. <laughs> All right, so obviously not a Revenant, so obviously not a Dio. No Raichu, no Hantu, because it was speeding up, right? Was it speeding up? They, Yokai, Myling. Good God, man. What the fuck? Okay, buddy, please, can you calm down? You up over there. There. So she's doors again. No fingies. Did I check for orbs in here? It's very, very, very aggressive. Nothing. I'm turning these lights back on. So weird. Oh, why did that? Wait a minute. The, the indicator is wrong. Oh, fuck. Indicator is not actually the the indicator or where it's gonna place it <laughs> Hello, hello, hello Wait a minute Hello Ghost ghost hello Hello ghost oh, Here we go What's the ghost? Mmm, what? That was a little weird. All right, is it cold in here? Relatively cold, but not too much. Uh, this is very annoying. <laughs> Where did I leave my... Oh, turn off the light. Where's my spare box? Is it underneath this fucking mess? Hey, the problem... Oh, there. Where are you? Oh my god. <laughs> What the fuck, buddy? This is extremely aggressive. Like demon with riding or something? Good God, man. Please chill. Thank you. All right, try spare box. Where are you? 
Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Are you grandma? Where are you? Are you here? Okay, I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. So the, it can't be a Gorio because it changed ghost room, right? But at this point, like, what could it be? Let's get out of here. Can we see Gorio dots from the truck? Is it, like, it has to be dots are riding or maybe freezing and just really slow. Just freezing would also be demon, right? Yeah. Like, I mean... If there's gonna be dots, this is the way to get it, right? That is the ghost room, and we have dots placed in a pretty solid way. But I just... Let's let's give it a little time here, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I just don't think we're gonna get anything. I think that was two minutes. Two minutes of waiting. I'm not gonna... I'm not just gonna spend my entire time here. I'd rather just be wrong than have to spend, like... An hour sitting in the truck doing absolutely nothing. And now the question is, what can we even still figure out? Like, I guess we could test for Jin real quick. Doing EMF 5. Wait, is that EMF 5? Maybe. Can you give me a sign? It didn't write in the book yet. Is it freezing? It's... Oh. Another air ball goes to that. Can I get EMF off of that? Nope. Not at all. Can you write in this damn book, but maybe? How is it not freezing it? That's my- that's the most interesting part. That it's like, this is clearly the ghost room, yet it's like not here at all. If this is a Gorio, then like, that's so fucked. This has just become a zero evidence run with starter items. Like, that is not what this is supposed to be, you rude. Um... Oh, wait, it's in there now! What the fuck? Is that the ghost room? Clearly not a yokai. Wait. Yeah, clearly not a yokai. Clearly not an oni, not a phantom. Not an obake. Wait a minute. It's throwing so much. But like, not enough for poltergeist. Alright, it's time for you to stop. Um, not a poltergeist, not a phantom. You need to test for Jin here. Definitely not a Hantu because it was speeding up. You need to test for Jin. Is this the new ghost room now? Has this turned off the breaker? Not the twins, not a Moroi, not an Obake. Could be Demon. Like we've been getting a ton of hunts close together. It's warmer here. Come on, give. Oh, hi there. He's singing. I love how you, you see this animation, how fucked it is. <laughs> She's shaking like crazy. The way the animations work is that whatever the speed of the ghost was at the end of the hunt, that is how fast the animations are going to be like, or the fast the uh, ghost event animations are. And then if, if it does a new hunt, this is actually like a very niche, like <laughs> you could technically figure out a ghost based on its ghost event, like Oh, what the fuck? Based on the way it does its ghost events. Because what could happen is that you have like a, a revenant that's extremely slow far away from you. And then you'll get a ghost event that's super slow and you're like, wait a minute, that's a revenant ghost event. Or like the opposite with a Thay or something. It's not a Jin. Uh. Oh my God. I'm dead. <laughs> that double back was fucking brutal, man. Holy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what is this garbage? It's not a gin. It's not the mimic is no orbs. Like, look at the shit we are left with here. It's gotta be dots, right? Or does it? Fucking cue Vsauce music? Like, I don't even know anymore. Oh my god, every fucking time. It's definitely not a Gorio. Like, that's one thing we have for certain. That it is not a Gorio because it was in the living room, then it was in this room, then it was in that room. This run was supposed to be like a little cute round to end it off. It wasn't supposed to be a fucking 30 minute torture struggle. Uh, 
But it might not be that. Oh. It could just be writing. Well. Uh, brr, let's place this here. Oh, yeah, it's definitely here now. And then we place this. Maybe EMF 5 just really, really, really delayed EMF 5. I don't think so. What temperature is it? Oh, come on. I don't have this. All right, give me, give me dots. Oh, come on. <gasps> All right. Give me dots. Oh, come on. <laughs> Maybe it is just a demon, but then it would be demon with writing, which... Why wouldn't it have done writing already? Like, writing feels like it's more likely than dots. I think it has to be dots. Why are the lights not blinking? Yeah, what's going on, actually? Wait a minute. <laughs> Why are the lights not blinking? I didn't even notice it. What's going on? <laughs> What the fuck? What was that? Maybe it's just the tier one book. I mean, you could say the same thing about the tier one dots, right? That was really strange. Okay, shut the fuck up. Give me a sign. This ghost is hunting like very frequently, but it didn't hunt early, right? Like it didn't do any de obvious demon stuff. That's just... Write in this fucking book. What if it writes in the book? Then we have... There were not even... It's definitely not a shit. I can, it's probably not a Wraith or Banshee, right? Because it keeps roaming away from me. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I just... Hi, just... right, buddy. I think we have to guess. I think this is one of those scenarios where... After the fact, maybe things will become clear. Or it'll just say, you're right. And you're like, okay, dude. <laughs> Like, do we say mare? Maybe it roamed away from the... I think it's just spirit. <clears throat> like, it's just something really basic. Because it is hunting often. But, yeah, the li these lights are just super broken. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, is that a rare mare ability? Imagine this is a mare. Uh, it could be... I think we just say... So let's let's like meta game the evidence, right? It has to be there's three evidence that it could be. It has to be either EMF five, in which case it will be spirit. It has to be dots, in which case it can't be any ghost, basically. So I guess it's not dots. Or ghost writing, in which case it's either of these. So it's probably ghost writing. And then I'm just gonna s I don't it's not aggressive enough for a mimic though. Let's just say mare. Uh didn't it turn a light on? I don't think so. Um, because like at this point, or just spirit, like just an aggressive spirit. We've all seen them. We've gotten so many spirits. Let's just, let's just roll with the spirit. Like we didn't have 20 second times in between hunts, right? And just the fact that it didn't hunt early. What if it's just an aggro as fuck spirit? What's on? Welcome back. Hey, that, that's just unlucky. <laughs> Because the Onrio has nothing you can do. Like, unless you have a crucifix and a candle, there's nothing you can do against Onrio. I could have gotten early hunted, in which case I would have known it, but it didn't early hunt in this case. Uh, it also doesn't have any abilities. All right, so that was very unlucky. Look at the amount of interactions, 223. So yeah, this is gotten 100% harder. Like, for sure, the, uh, the level one challenge has gotten so much harder because and i can only like give my sincere like support and admiration for someone starting to play phasmo in 2023 after the ascension update because holy shit are you dealing with a way harder game than we had to deal with when we started like obviously at this point i'm so so familiar with all the game mechanics that i am not struggling as much like this was also the hardest difficulty right um if you were playing on professional this would have been easier but they truly made these tier one items like terrible like the tier one especially writing book and dots that already are the two hardest evidences by far and the tier one versions of them are so bad so wait a minute that was an unreal right what does that mean what is the unreal evidence wait 
What? It was spirit box the whole. Th th that's another like spirit box is also. Oh, no, it can't have been spirit box. It must have been ghost orb that, or freezing because it was definitely not spirit box. I tried that on top of the ghost so many times. What? Was it ghost orbs? I tr I looked for ghost orbs so many. I genuinely insanely confused what the evidence was. So yeah, um, be like just ha stick through it because it's gonna get better once you get the tier two items, tier three items. The game is gonna get so much easier. Tier one items are really 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 bad. They nailed it, I guess, with how bad they're supposed to be. Uh, but yeah, you you're gonna you're gonna be fine. You're gonna learn how the game works, and eventually you'll be able to figure out ghosts left, right, and center. Don't worry about getting the ghost wrong initially. That's that's just part of the learning curve. If you want to see more of stuff like this, I have done a lot of no evidence. I definitely recommend if you are new to the game and you want to know how every ghost works and how each of the little interactions and the abilities and the hidden abilities and the strengths and the weaknesses, all of those work. Make sure to check out the no evidence videos. But anyway, if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim or click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>